Hey guys, how are you doing? Frost Knight here. Uh, today we have a Junkyard 24. I've been using Gavel in this run and uh, people keep asking me to talk in, the, in my videos so I can show you my cooldowns, timing and things like that. So we're gonna start with this 24 Junkyard. Uh, so yeah, let's begin. So here I picked critical strike. I think I'm, I I thought the the zap bots uh, can can crit because people normally go haste in junkyard, but because I'm using gavel, I went to critical is very good with two handed because um, you have lower duration for breath of Sindrigosa and you need to get as much critical as killing machine as you can so you can keep your breath up for longer also give you damage for all your spells now haste is i've been trying haste with gavel but it didn't do that much of damage i feel critical and mastery have a uh, like better damage with gavel so normally i would go mastery with with gavel or crit so you can choose between crit or mastery you don't need so many so much haste So I didn't get bot here at the beginning, I got Zabot like after we killed this first pack. Here I was trying to wait the tank to get pull and get aggro. So yeah, so you start with Death Dio, Remosis Winter and try to get Runic Power so you can start using your cooldowns. Also make sure you interrupt because interrupt give you runic power if you're running the conduit that give you runic power. So here I use my cooldowns, I use gavel as you see there's a soul here you have to kill it so you can get the buff. And yeah I wasn't lucky I got the single target buff here. This is the best single target buff you can get from gavel I think. I didn't do much of damage because I was most of the time far from the group because uh, I didn't want to get one shot at by things flying around. So I did uh, I did less damage than the than the tank, but I think he got the Zabot here, so maybe that's why he did more damage than me. So yeah, also I wasn't lucky with the buff, I could do like 50k if I got the one AoE buff or something. So here I got this up bot. And yeah, we're doing the same thing, Grimosis Winter, Death Eon, start buffing Grimosis Winter. Now here's in this ad, you actually can use AMS and just stay. Uh, inside the ad, you will you will not take dots. Even if MS expired and you're still inside, you'll still not get dots because I, th I think it only hit you once. And yeah, so just use AMS and you can stay inside it if you want. If you are lazy and don't like to move like me. I didn't do that much of damage here. So here I use my cooldowns. I should wait a bit, but I think the ad's uh, going to die anyway, so I use my cooldowns here. I should wait for pillar, but I use it late. Yeah, I kind of wasted pillar here. I think in Jankle Weeks it's kind of like running Gavel is kind of not good on Tyrannicals because if you got AoE buff 
be as die very quickly that you like the backs die in 20 to 30 seconds and you will not get the maximum value from gavel or from your breath of Sendigosa. So I feel gavel is better in 4 to 5 weeks. You can always grab these ads while they can, while they start to, you know, like dash to the range, so you can like save the range. Sometimes people don't see them or they don't move. So if you can grab them as soon they use a slime wave, uh, you can save the range DPS or somebody like this. If you don't have a stun or something. I think you can grab them like even before they cast. As soon as they you grab them, they will stop their cast and they will not do it again. So you don't have to wait uh, for the cast to finish. So here I didn't use my cooldowns because I want to save them for the boss since uh, it's tranquil. I only use pillar because I know this fight will take like one minute to at these packs to die without cooldowns so I only use Pillar Frost here this slime and we are heading to the boss I think I got good single target buff on this boss I was doing the top damage on bosses I mean gavel is also good in bosses but I feel after one minute when the buff this when the gavel buff uh, expire you do like less damage than running uh, dual world with, with longer breath So this is why on Fortified, when bosses have less HP and packs have more HP, I think Gavel works really good. I'm gonna run try again next week with Gavel and see how it goes. So yeah, here I got the bleed. This kind of, bleed also best on single target. Dots work really good on single target. Oh, here I got uh, the tank move away. I think so. I got aggro. I'm doing 40k opener, so it's really good. So one more tip here, guys. So for people that keep telling me how you keep your breath up for long. So you see I was... So now death deal is 2 seconds to be ready. And I have like 60 runic power here. So, so yeah, I could, some people like at this point, because they have one global here, so they use obliterate. Then they will only have like one rune and one rune charging. So just, you can just wait like one second, since it's almost ready, and just use it, then use obliterate. So you get, uh, so you have more runes inside death deal. The more runes you have inside Death Deal, the more runic power you're going to generate. And also the faster you're gonna get the stacks from Death Deal. Don't just skip, just use it. I mean, don't use Obliterate as soon as you get two runes, just you can wait if you have enough uh, runic power to keep breath up. I mean, if you watch some of my boss fight, when I have like two runes and uh, three runes charging, and I have let's say 60, 70 runic power, I I don't press obliterate. I just keep auto attacking like for one second, two second, 
because uh, the more you wait, the higher the chance you're going to get Killing Machine. And Killing Machine have a chance to refund one rune. So instead of waste, wasting two runes on normal obliterate, you can wait a few seconds. Uh, as long you're not capping on runes. If you are, if you are above three runes, just hit obliterate. But if you have less than three runes, if you have two runes and three runes are generating and you have one empty rune, you can just auto attack a few seconds until you. Uh, I mean, not for very long, like one to two seconds maximum, so you don't uh, lose your breath. And uh, as soon as you get killing machine Brock, just uh, use it so you can. You have a chance to refund one rune when you when you use killing machine. So this is how you can. Uh, you can make a breath last for long, even if you are not running Grudge of the Frozen Champion or Rune of Hysteria. <clears throat> so, yeah, here we kill the boss. I'm doing like more damage than the Warlock. By the way, this Warlock is very good. He's, I think, he's 3100 duo. So this is, uh, he went, he got more overall than me, but I mean, he's very good. I think he's the best warlock I ever played with. Remain alert. The flying menace has altered its trajectory. There appears to be a power So here I want to save my cooldowns for the next pack because, I mean, you don't have to use your cooldowns on two mobs. Just use uh, Death Deer on just cleave two targets. So yeah, here we are pulling big back and we have all my cooldowns. They kind of like separated a bit. It's, it would be better if they stacked on one spot so you can cleave them all with your breath. But yeah, we did like 60k, not bad. So for example, I mean the runic uh, generation trick. So you see I have like 50 runic power and I have two runes. So instead of, I, I got a killing machine broke here, but let's say if you didn't have a killing machine broke and you got in this situation, you can just auto attack because you're not cabbing because you can use a frost strike of course, try to empty your runic power, but you are not cabbing on runes because you have three runes generating here and one rune is waiting until these are ready and as soon as you got killing machine or you got three runes you can use obliterate I should have empty my runic power here. I don't know. I don't know why I am hitting obliterates. I should have empty my runic power bar for this pack and just uh, save some runes. But I made a mistake, I think. Oh yeah, here I use gavel because uh, you don't want to hold gavel for very long. I think because it's four minute cooldown and. It doesn't really affect your cooldowns because, uh, I mean, it doesn't do more damage when you have cooldowns. It just like auto attacks procs, so you can just use it on cooldown whenever it's ready. Also, it lasts for one minute, so 
your breath normally in Mythic Blast lasts for 30 to 40 seconds. So, I mean, you're good if you want to use Gavel for uh, just blocking for the buffs. So you see, he pulled one ba one board back, so I use my cooldowns here, and I still have a 20 second on Gavel. Oh, here you can use AMS and you will not get uh, attacked or anything. You can completely dodge it with AMS. <laughs> the healer died in one hit. When you see yourself flow, always uh, just use Death Strike. It's always better to stay alive than uh, losing your cooldowns. Because if you die, you're gonna lose your cooldowns anyway. So always like have more priority on surviving than. Um, even if you have a breath Sundigosa and things get like very dangerous, you can just uh, use the S strike to survive. Because if you die, you're gonna lose your breath anyway. This week, this week aura here, uh, it show the healing from the S strike. So the more damage you take, the more healing you will get. Sometimes you heal full with with one death strike when you take like so much damage. So you can like save the tank, uh, I mean, save the healer and let him focus on other people. So here I use my cooldowns and gavel is 5 seconds. I think I used gavel here without my cooldowns, yeah. Because as I said, you can just use it uh, whenever I said. Here I made a mistake, I shouldn't use death deal here. So yeah, I used Gavel here, and I got nice buff here. Now this this buff is the only buff you can time it with your cooldowns because it gives you 500 more primary stat. So your breath will gonna deal so much damage. But because I, I didn't want to like hold Gavel for one minute, so I just use him anyway. As you see, it deal like so much damage. If you get lucky, every time you use Gavel and you get this buff, you can do like like so much overall. I think I can do like 40k overall. If you always get this buff, because it deals more damage than your Breath of Sindigosa on big pulls. I had one Gambit uh, today. I mean, we didn't time it, I think, but I got this buff on the first pack. And it was doing more damage than Breath of Sindigosa itself. Even with the primary stat buff, so this is the best AoE buff you can get from Gavel.
the second AOE buff is the arcane uh, yeah the one that deal arcane damage because it hits everything but it do, it do less damage than this uh, the frontal one but it's nice you can do like 700k on packs Here I use my cooldowns on full we popped hero, so I had to use my cooldowns. I mean, I always want to use the cooldowns on full on this boss. You don't have to hold them or anything. Normally, I like to keep like the mob spawn because every time the mob you hit a new mob, you get a critical strike. So you can do even more damage to the boss. You keep getting like killing machines and you're gonna do more damage to the boss. But as you see like all the ads just died from the electric from the yeah from the boss damage. Also, I, should, I think I shouldn't use my dragon here. I should save it for the b uh, bigger packs. I think it's always better to use your dragon on on big pools than use it on bosses, unless you want to kill the boss very fast. Because. I feel it's kind of like a waste to use it on uh, on one target. Like you pull the boss, it hit like let's say for 60k, and after the boss you pull up 10 packs, 10 adds, and you could hit all the 10 for 60k each. So you kind of wasted like 600k um, more damage on on dragon. But if you or if you just started the boss fight, and you know the boss is gonna last for three minutes, then just use it on pull. But let's say if it was ready mid the pull or on the last second, on the last minute of the pull, just don't use it. Just hold it for the next pack <clears throat> because you will get more overall than just than using it on bosses. Here I, I used everything. Yeah, I used all my buff. Let's see. I also got single target buff here. I was really unlucky on this uh, on this run with Gavel. I mean, this is the only reason. Uh, sometimes not very good. So you see, I'm taking so much damage and healing at the same time. Like the first here, I was about to die. So here I think I got aggro at something. Yeah. Now my next death strike is going to heal for 69k. So I'm gonna be back to full. I think I got a free, yeah, free Brock here on death strike. So I immediately use it. And here I was also about to die. And the next is about 82k. And it's not free. So... I used that strike here at the cost of my runic power, but it healed me like so much. Sometimes a healer is not that quick on uh, on his reaction on healing people, so always count on yourself. Don't just count on some healers. 
uh, not that fast on reaction. <clears throat> like always put the strike on a quick action bar so you don't have to look where you put it and you're gonna die. Just put it on a quick action bar. I mean for me I put it on the my side button on my mouse so so I can just click it immediately. My finger is on the right on the button if something uh, dangerous happened to me. Yeah, here I was using Chain of Ice on these ads so I can slow them down just to make things a bit easier for other people. You lose damage but you give other people like less movement if you have like range so they can focus more on dealing damage so it's okay. Uh, here I'm, I'm always fast at doing this. I just keep jumping. Yeah, here you just blast, use everything, use a power on weapon. On on fights where you want to like do so much damage, where, where the boss like take extra damage, for example like this boss, you want to use all, all your cooldowns at this point. Let's say Lords of Hydreids, when they start the cloud phase, you want to use all your cooldowns with a power on weapon, so on raid bosses, let's say this is a dungeon boss, so you don't have time to use your breath before. But for raid bosses, let's say Lord of the Dreads is about uh, before he starts the cloud phase, like a 20 second. You can start using using your breath, just only breath. Don't use any, don't use pillar, don't use empowerment weapon. Just use the breath of Synergy Gosa, and try to keep it up with obliterate. And as soon as the boss starts the cloud phase, use a power on weapon. And with the with death deal and trinket and potion and everything, and just start to hit obliterate inside death deal, so you can cleave two targets. Or even it was a single target uh, boss, like uh, sludge fest, for example. Also use your breath before he gets stunned, and try to keep it, uh, try to keep it up until the boss uh, hit the pillar and start to taking extra damage. Uh, that's it guys, this is 24 Gambit. This is my highest key so far. I don't push that much keys because I have like work in real life and I don't have so much time to play the game. <laughs> but I'm gonna like, if I do any dungeon, um, I will just upload it if it's good. You see like the dot itself did like almost 1 million damage. Now, if I got a, the Bone of the End buff instead of the Rotting DK, uh, it could do like 2 million damage itself, so I could do more overall. But I was unlucky with the dots. Two times I got the Rotting D DK, and one time I got Bone of the Harvest Hope. Yeah, so I got like single target buffs more than AoE buffs on this run. I mean, my, my last junkyard I did like 32k, so I was like more lucky with the with the buffs. <clears throat> I feel gavel. Uh, it's like it's kind of the same damage uh, if you want to use dual world, but if you got lucky with gavel, you can do even more damage. So I feel like gavel uh, in mythical blast. Even with the Breath of Santigosa, it's better than Dual World, but it's kind of RNG, so you need to be lucky. If you if you don't get lucky, uh, you're gonna do either same damage as Dual World or let's say just a bit less. 
also I think in, in higher hierarchies, let's say like a 28, 29s, uh, packs have like last for longer and two handed can't help you keep breath up for that long. So I think maybe dual will will, will be better on higher keys. Also the bosses have more HP. So you need to keep breath up more uh, on bosses. So I think Gavel is good on fortified weeks where bosses have less HP and mobs have more HP but in, in low keys, let's say in, in lower than 25. And for higher than 25s uh, or tyrannical weeks, you just go with dual world. And yeah, this is the run guys. I hope you enjoy and learn something new. And yeah, make sure you like the video. And if you have any question, ask me in the comments or uh, you can join my Discord and ask me in Discord. A lot of people ask on Discord and I try to answer them all. all. And yeah, see you in the next video. Goodbye.